Here's how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB stick in Windows 10. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to rufus.akio.ie. Once you're there, we need to download the program. Once we've downloaded that program, we need to then go to the Windows 10 website, but you need to follow the link down in the description because it allows you to download the ISO image. Once you've gone to that link, you need to select your edition of Windows and hit confirm. Then you need to choose what language you're going to use that in, confirm, and then what version, the 32-bit or the 64-bit. This image is around four gigabytes, so it will take a little while to download. After both of those have downloaded, you need to open up Rufus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to change your device to your device. In this case, it's a eight gigabyte USB stick. I would highly recommend you use eight gigabyte as a minimum. If you use four gigabyte, it's cutting it too fine. Next, you need to choose your ISO image. So click here, select the image, open. And what you'll need to do is you may need to change it from master boot record to GPT, especially if you're using newer hardware. Next, I would also recommend that you use FAT32 as the file system. Once that's all done, hit start and OK. Now this process will take quite some time. In my experience, I've tried this on a couple of devices and it does take anywhere from about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So please be prepared to wait for that long time. Now it will sit there at one point and look like it's not doing anything and it will do that for quite some time. This is when it's transferring the ISO image across to the USB stick. Okay, so that's done. It's finished up at about 18 minutes, so a little bit quicker than last. Um, all you need to do now is close that down, eject your USB stick, and you're all ready to go. If you enjoyed this really short video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, Imagine Learn Create.